during the U.S. Vietnam War. The U.S. used extremely Martin combat vehicles, such as UH-1 helicopters, M113 armor vehicles to transport soldiers on the battlefield. Another very Martin combat vehicle was also used by the U.S. Army in sweeping campaigns in the Mekong Delta. The Patron Air Cushion Vehicle PACV, also known as the Air Cushion Vehicle ACV. These air cushion vehicles helped the U.S. Army perform patrol, reconnaissance, and cargo missions along the inner-laxed canals of Mekong Delta from 1966 to 1970. The Patron Air Cushion Vehicle, or PACV, was based on the Bell Aero Systems SK-5 hovercraft. The train of the Mekong Delta and the battlefields of Vietnam was the ideal test ground for this vehicle. It was here that the United States gained its first and early experience to date in the use of air cushion vehicles in combat. In the field of hovercraft, the U.S. is not a pioneer. The first such vehicles were used by the British in suppressing insurgent forces in Malaysia in the 1950s. In 1965, Based on these experiences, the U.S. Navy decided to buy three SRN-5 hovercraft from the U.K. In the U.S., these vehicles were modified by Bell Aero Systems at the request of the U.S. Navy. They were also armed to increase their power. work was completed in 1966. Crew training was carried out in the United States. In May 1966, the first patrol air cushion vehicles were deployed in Vietnam. The U.S. Navy was used these vehicles to patrol the Mekong Delta and coastal areas. PACV was particularly useful in shallow and swampy areas where rivers patrol boats were inaccessible. High speed, excellent maneuverability, and relatively strong firepower allowed the PACV to participate in many missions. In addition to patrolling, they were also used on fire and cure missions, escorting, scouting, transporting wounded soldiers, heavy weapons, and providing direct fire support to infantry. An important advantage of hovercraft is that they can operate in places where conventional boats cannot pass and helicopters cannot land. Therefore, these were very popular vehicles by the U.S. Marines. PACV was considered a modern vehicle at that time. PACV was much larger than the standard PBR Mark II River Patrol boats. The total displacement of PACV was 7.1 tons. The length was 11.84 meters. The width was 7.24 meters. And the height was 5 meters. The hovercraft was manned by a crew of four, a driver, a commander and radar operator, and two machine gunners. In addition, each vehicle could carry up to 12 soldiers with foreign weapons. P 
PICV was equipped with a General Electric 7LM 100PJ102 gas turbine engine with a maximum capacity of up to 1,100 horsepower for a maximum speed of 60 knots, about 110 km per hour. The fuel tank was 1,150 liters, enough to cover a distance of 165 nautical miles, about 306 km. Patrol cruise endurance was about 7 hours. After being upgraded, PICV was heavier and better armored than the original. The total weight of the armor was 450 kilograms, equivalent to that of the M113 armor vehicle. The gearbox, engine, and fuel tank were also armored, able to withstand 12.7 mm bullets from a distance of over 180 meters. PICV's cabin was less armored, so it was constantly damaged by 7.62 mm bullets. At the request of the US military, the armor around the cabin compartment was removed to reduce weight, as it did not provide any special protection especially against heavy weapons. PICV's main armament were two 12.7mm M2 Browning machine guns on the roof. Secondary armament was two 7.62mm M60 machine guns on either side, similar to those installed on armed helicopters. In addition, it could also be equipped with the M75 40mm automatic granite launcher. The hovercraft carried a Deca 202 radar with a dish antenna, which could detect targets within 20 miles, equivalent to 39 kilometers. Some Army ACVs were fitted with XM3 personnel detectors, which could detect human emissions, including carbon and ammonia. This equipment was used to fight hidden enemies. Dog teams was also sometimes carried to help detect enemies. The radar was found to be very effective including for navigating in low visibility and foggy conditions. PACV was used by the US Marines in Vietnam from 1966 to 1970. However, their effectiveness was not as expected because their operation was too expensive, unreliable and required high technical maintenance. Later, the US had to withdraw the air cushion vehicles from the Vietnam battlefield, partly due to the effective coping tactics of the Liberation Army. Early a short time, the Liberation Army found a way to deal with this new fighting vehicle. They organized ambushes and led mines where PACVs were expected to land. Landmines had become a really effective weapon against PACV. On the other hand, PACV was very expensive. It should be noted that the price of a PACV cost $1 million in 1966 enough to buy 13 PBR River Patron Boats. The firepower of the hovercraft was also said to be insufficient. 
the U.S. Army offered to upgrade weapons with 20mm automatic cannons or 6-barreled M61 Vulcan cannons, anti-tank missile systems or M40 106mm recoilless guns. However, these suggestions were not implemented. Only three PACVs were built and sent to the Vietnam battlefield. One of them was destroyed by the Liberation Army. In 1970, the U.S. decided to stop the operation of this hovercraft. They were sent back to the U.S. and transferred to the U.S. Coast Guard. My video about the U.S. Patrol Air Cushion Vehicle PACV Answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.